We are going to find the area of this object. We do not need to find the perimeter because they didn't give us all the lengths. And this is seventh grade, so we don't need to worry. All right, so to find the area of these, we're going to cut it right account. And we were going to, we're going to compare this rectangle and triangle. <coughs> but we have these other sides. Now, full length here was 10, but we only want part of that 10. And since if we look closer, we see that this side length is 4, so the rest of this length would be a 6. Likewise, if this length is 5 and the whole thing is 9, then this length right account would be 4. So to find the area of the rectangle, thank you. This is a 9 by 4 rectangle. And when we find the area of these, we get uh, 36 meters squared. And the area of the rectangle, which is really just half of a, I'm sorry, the area of the triangle, which is really half of a rectangle, which would be a 6 by 4 rectangle, but it's been cut in half. So we're going to cut it in half by dividing by 2, and that gives us 12 square meters. So when I find the area, I just take my 12 and add it to my 36, and I find that my area is 48 square meters, or meters squared.